Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Simple Brains. It's easy if you try. Today we are going to talk about tourist visa to USA. We'll start with frequently asked questions. We'll go to forms that you have to fill in and then we'll talk more about uh, interview day and the follow up process, the appointments and everything you need to get this done. Let's get started. Let's talk about some frequently asked questions. So first thing that comes in your mind is whether I should apply for B1 visa, B2 visa or B1 slash B2 B visa, right? Uh, so B2 is the laser visa that we apply when we are talking about the tourist visa, right? B1 is a business visa and that you apply when you have uh, some uh, small work to do or it's basically consultancy kind of thing that you go you do and you come back um, so basically it's business purpose you you don't do development and all those stuff when you go there as a as engineer or that kind of work no it's just a consultancy work right uh, so b1 slash b2 that is another type of visa and it covers both of them so i was very confused if i should go for b1 slash b2 or b1 or b2 i because i was applying it for not from the company but for myself right so um i called a few of my friends who already had that visa and they were like you can apply from b1 or b1 slash b2 or b2 doesn't matter right so B1 is specifically when you are applying for business. So no, in this case, we are applying either for B2 or B1 slash B2. My B1 slash B2 was approved. And um, the point here is when you, you get B1 slash B2, it is, that, is, that is totally fine. But when you are at port of entry, you are asked question like why you are entering the US zone. And if you answer this is for laser, let's say I want to I want to see the Statue of Liberty or I want to go to Chicago or um, right. So this this kind of laser activity. So definitely you qualify for B2. So they, they'll put a stamp on your passport and they'll write it as B2. So that is your uh, permit for that particular duration. You are on B2, not on B1 or B1 slash B2. You are on B2. Similarly, if you say that, okay, I'm, I'm coming to New York and now I have to go to Toronto. So this is a transit for me. So they'll write it on your on your passport with the stamp on it, transit. So it is not B1 or B2, it is transit. But yeah, you can have a sticker visa, which is B1 or B2. And then we, when you have some specific, specific uh, time when you are going for business, then you can tell them, okay, I'm going for business and they'll give you... Uh, you know, they'll write it on the passport B1 for that particular duration. So whatever you put on doesn't matter much Next is your duration um, so duration usually if you are Indian because most of my uh, sh uh, my uh, uh, Viewers who are who view my channel are from India or Canada uh, And uh, I also see 30% people who view from outside, right? So uh, for people from India it is 10 years but it is different for different countries uh, for example i was talking to one of my nigerian friends and they told me this for five years so it's it's it differs basically for for all the countries right so um it's it's uh that's why i didn't specify the duration here next is you have three stages to the application process you see on the on the screen i have put one two three right so the first one is filling your ds160 what is ds160 it's a basically a form where you put all your details in so it it, it captures everything that is required uh, by us uh, to understand your case and grant you visa right so this this has all the information and then stage two is where you put the take the appointment you pay and all those stuff step three is your interview day when you go uh, with all the documents and then you get it cleared right so first we'll start with your filling your ds160 that is the first step step and the foremost step right so for ds160 there's a url you go to the website and you start filling up with we'll, in the next video we'll see how um how you know that process is and what how we do that what the information needed but uh, before you start um it, it is like a local address with a phone number is mandatory right uh, 
in the in the process so sometimes what happens is we start the application and in between we don't have the local address we just stop the application and then we start calling our friends or we start thinking about it um, which delays the process and in one month your application is deleted so whatever you fill in it will no longer be there you have to completely start it again um, that happens with a lot of us and happened with me as well in the past so it's something important to uh, note that before you start the application you should have someone's information and that someone if you know somebody just give them a call get their uh, get their address and phone number before you start if you don't have someone get get um, you know uh, a glimpse of what hotel you are gonna reside in uh, you need not to book the ticket you just have to specify a hotel address probably that okay I'm gonna stay here and there's the phone number this is the address uh, that should be fine um, and uh, then uh, what we have to do by end of it is to save that DS160 in your hard drive and that's where the first step completes so in the next video we'll we'll talk more about the DS160 we'll go to the URL and uh, uh, fill the form um, and we'll see how this comes up right so I'll, I'll, I'll uh, break this uh, into a few episodes like episode 1 2 3 4 5 so that it's easier to uh, go through them small small episodes for all all of us to understand and go through um, that's it for this video keep watching simple brains and uh, do like and subscribe us if we uh, create any value to your life uh, in terms of immigration thank you